I leave one bar of melody to echo down the countless years or say one word to soothe the heart bowed down with sorrow's pain, if perchance I am able to dry some wayfarer's bitter tears and bring back a smile to lips that have ceased to smile again, I may look into the last sunset and meet my creator without fears, knowing my years were not all in vain. Louise Weber and the choir sing, Lead Kindly Light. that seems to have caught the fancy of our listeners and our singers, too, is no hiding place. So if you're one of the many who've been waiting to hear it again, we hope you're going to enjoy it.
And I have a new poem for you today by our good friend George Z. Keller entitled, There is No Change. It points out in a most effective manner the everlasting and unchanging qualities of God's laws as they pertain to this world. Listen. There is no change. The children play about my door as in the years gone by. And in the fall, as heretofore, the robins southward fly. The seasons come and go. The soil is faithful still. The magnitude of all God's gifts is measured by his will. There is no change. The tireless brook flows on, its destination quite the same. The ocean still retains that power man's genius cannot tame. Young lovers meet and wed. They plight their troth and dream. The future, full of promise, calls. They join life's rushing stream. There is no change. We mortals live and die. Our children follow on. Ere we can quite complete our plans, the reaper says, be gone. The sun and moon stay fixed. The time twixt seasons varies not. The shades of night and blackness fall. Yet daytime bears no blot. There is no change. God's laws remain intact. His promises are sure. His word, time-tested, tried and proved, shall evermore endure.
Remember that religion is the true philosophy. Faith is the last great link twixt God and man. have been listening to Hymns from Home, a presentation of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.